guys, Axe and Alloys back here. We are playing some Axe and Allies Europe 1940, second edition with the Attic Nerd. This is, I believe, round two of my game with him over YouTube. This is the Italian turn. Italians have 30 IPCs to spend. We have our IPCs all dialed up right here, ready to go. We have two infantry, two transport, one tank, one artillery. Let's get straight into the combat moves. Want to make this a quick video. We have the Italians from southern France, two infantry artillery tank attacking one tank artillery. We have from Bulgaria, four five infantry, one tank going into Greece. Next up, we have the mech and tank from Alexandria blitzing through Egypt to go to Transjordan, so it'd be one two. We'll put that Italian roundel on there. Italians go up to, and the Brits are going down to one, two. Fantastic. Start attacking in there. The bomber will provide some support. It will go one, two, three. Could have gone one, two, three, but it's the same thing. Okay. So we have this here, that there. The infantry and artillery will be moving into Egypt. These troops are in Tobruk. You will have, we will take the one transport full of an infantry and artillery, moving one into Transjordan. They will attack two. There. We will then move the battleship in, which will be able to provide coastal bombardments. We'll then move the cruiser in, one, two, three, from 93, and we'll also provide coastal bombardments in the battle. Because we have multiple, uh, we have two amphibious troops, we have two shore bombards, that works out. Good there, yes, that works out correctly, I did my math correct. And then, finally, we'll be taking the two fighters, they'll go one, two, to Tunisia. We'll send him there. And we'll take one infantry from Tobruk, load him up, pop him in, give him a shore bombard with that cruiser. And we will leave one in Tobruk. Alrighty, let's see everything here. We're in check. Mm -hmm. This is looking good. This is what I want to see. Alright, next we're going to get to the rolling. We'll take the infantry, uh, sorry, the artillery tank from Normandy Bordeaux. We'll be matching up against an artillery, a tank, an infantry paired with an artillery and an infantry. Alright, so you all can see this. We'll do the infantry. Miss the twos, two at two. Miss and the tank. Tank is a miss, fantastic. Artillery. Miss. Tank. Tank is a miss. Wow, everyone's doing great. One at one. Two at two. One at three. Alright, so we have one hit. We'll take that on the artillery. One at two. One at three. That is two hits. So over here, the artillery is gone and two infantry are gone. Italian bins all the way over here. Artillery, it's a mess. Tank, it's a hit, but other tank gets a parting shot and is a mess. So the Brits are destroyed. Italians put the roundel on Normandy Bordeaux. I can never get that. Yep, there we go. Put the tank and artillery there. 
Italians are going up. Two Brits are going down. Sorry, the French. One, two. Unless it was considered. Um, actually, that's wrong because it's unless Paris is liberated. Um, uh, so I shouldn't have given the French those two. So the French are down where they need to be. The Brits are down one, two. Because the Brits had taken control of that. Uh, and then unless Paris is liberated, then they get all those. Alrighty. Glad that's settled. Let's handle this battle here. We have three fighters. Well, I don't even think I need to. I don't want to set this one up. We have a shore bombardment. Three, uh, let's just do the shore bombardment, see if it hits. Shore bombardment, hits. They get the parting shot, we'll roll it right here. Parting shot is a success. We'll take that on the infantry, which leaves here. French down, Italians up. That is what this is looking like here. Next up, let's roll for Greece. Um, the Greek troops will be represented by the British, uh, just because I like, yeah, we'll use the British. They're just, uh, pro-allies, so no one's claimed them yet, but, uh, we'll call them British. All right, let's clear the box. The gold box. All right, we have four, five. Infantry, all rolling at once. No hits. The tank gets to go. That is one hit, that is one infantry off. You have four infantry rolling. In the corner, that's two hits. So that's two Italians gone. One British, or sorry, one Greek. So we have three infantry. That's one hit. And then the tank gets a hit, two are gone. Three get to roll. That is a hit. So we'll clear the casualties. Remembering the British got a hit, so we're down to two Italians. Two Italians. There. Lovely. The Italians roll. The infantry. The infantry miss, but the tank fires. The tank misses, so the British roll. The British miss. Italians. Miss, but the tank hits. The Greeks fire back. The Greeks hit. Costly endeavor. Yet the Italians prevail, taking Greece, going up two on the production tracker to 21. And we are now looking at the tank and infantry in Greece right there. All right. Let's do the next battle, and this is our final battle, uh, but I believe the most consequential in my opinion. So we will take the two shore bombards, we will take the strat bomber, we will take the infantry artillery, which are paired, we will take the mech, we will take the tank, we will take the tactical, we will take the fighter. All right, and then we have our two shore bombards, So a shore bombard at three, a shore bombard at four, a shore bombard at three, miss, a shore bombard at four, hit, the mech rolls, mech miss, two at two, two at two is one hit, next up, sorry about that, but the two at two was a hit, uh, the tank, 
and the strap. I don't know why I rolled all those because we already hit them. So I don't know why I did that, but um, we did. So we killed them multiple times. We got the tactical and the so if I hit tactical in the fighter, sadly pass. We'll put a Italian roundel on Tarange Jordan. Italian's up one, Brits down to 26. Because they got two hits, we'll take it on the um, infantry and mech. So we're left with a tank artillery Tarange Jordan. And the strap down right here. And these ships over here. Okay. So now let's do these non-combat moves. Fighters went one, two. They will go three, four. To Tobruk. The infantry in Tobruk will go to Alexandria. The strap bomber has three moves left. So it will go two down to Alexandria. The sub ninety three will go to ninety two, and the destroyer here will come here. Already, put these down here. Let's place these units. So we're going to go with, I guess it doesn't matter Northern Italy or Southern Italy because they all border the same territory. So we'll go two here, these here, bop, bop. But we'll put the transports here in 92. Alrighty, now for the collect income phase, we are looking at 22, and I think none. However, there are no allied warships in the med, so that's five, plus another five because we control southern France, Greece, and Egypt. So the Italians will then collect 32. All right, let's do a quick recap here. One submarine, 92. A cruiser and transport in C zone, 94. A an artillery in Tunisia. Two fighters in Tobruk. A German fighter, Italian strategic bomber, Italian infantry in Alexandria. Three Italian infantry, one artillery in Egypt. One tank, one artillery in Transjordan. A cruiser, battleship, destroyer, transport in C zone 98, a two transports in C zone 97, our tank infantry in Greece, two anti-aircraft, three, four, sorry, two anti-aircraft, four infantry in Southern Italy, two anti-aircraft, two infantry, one tank, one artillery, Northern Italy, and then a an tank and artillery in Normandy, Bordeaux. That's what we're looking at right now, and they collected 32 IPCs, the Italians. So, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing what the Attic Nerd does on his French turn. This is Axis and Alloys signing off.